Hello guys, it's Shabo here and welcome to another video. Today we're going to be doing a stock analysis on Fubo TV as this stock was all the craze in 2020 and 2021 when an IPO just absolutely skyrocketed as high as like $50 and now it's crashed all the way down to $1.61. And another reason why I'm doing a stock analysis on this company as well is because they do own the streaming rights right now for uh, the Premier League, which is the biggest soccer league in all of Europe and pretty much the entire world. And they currently own the streaming rights for it for the West when it comes to like Canada and the United States. I'm not sure about England to be honest. I don't know what they use over there, but basically if you want to watch it in the West, the Premier League, you have to uh, subscribe to Fubo TV and along with Syria as well which is pretty much the Italian league when it comes to soccer so we'll get back to the Premier League in a second by reading the uh, company description here Fubo TV operates a live TV streaming platform for live sports news and entertainment across the United States and internationally the company's platform allows customers to access content through streaming devices as well as uh, smart TVs mobile phones tablets and computers they're basically just a streaming platform and they IPO in October 8th of 2020 and the reason why I'm pointing that out is because literally nothing happens on my birthday it's October 5th my claim to fame is that I have the same birthday as a uh, Kate Winslet but that's about it taking a look at the market cap here it's 531 million dollars with revenue of uh, 1.52 billion dollars and they've lost 235 million dollars so in the last 12 months they've almost lost as much as half of their market cap in uh, money so that's like freaking crazy and a price target of two dollars and 88 cents i don't know what this analyst is smoking because if they make no money i don't know what projections you're freaking doing so taking a look at the financials here from uh, 2020 when the ipo up until today which is trailing 12 months 216 million dollars all the way up to 1.5 billion clearly revenue has got up quite a bit but if we just go to uh, profitability here i mean they're still losing money hand over fist now they are losing less money at the same time though they're losing money so i don't know why you'd be buying the stock and look at the shares outstanding as well just absolutely skyrocketing because the company is making no money they have to finance their operations with either uh, taking on debt or issuing shares and looking at their gross margin as well it is extremely low holy crap so they had negative gross margin and now it's positive you can clearly see there is a little bit of a path when it comes to a profitability i don't think the company has a lot of time left based off the cash that they do have i honestly do think they're going to struggle in the next like 18 months i mean if they do go bankrupt i would not be surprised at all and once again just going back to the premier league now with their contract when it comes to streaming the premier league every season they pretty much hop from like streamer to streamer because they just sell the rights to like the highest bidder so right now fubo is the highest bidder but what's going to happen next season i mean most likely the premier league won't be on fubo tv it used to be on the zone a couple years ago and they literally just hip hop to every platform that's going to pay them the most amount of money so i would not really count your chickens when it comes to that so when you're doing your uh, revenue projections you probably have to discount that a little bit i don't think they're going to be able to stream the premier league next season because they're losing so much money i don't think they're going to have enough next season to pretty much renew the contract so looking at the trailing 12 months for their income statement they had revenue of 1.5 billion dollars and a gross profit of 136 million dollars so once again very 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 low gross margin and sgna expense research and development operating expenses so they had an operating income of negative 254 million dollars then a little bit of interest expense and interest income just going down here other unusual items gave them 23 million dollars and they had a pre-tax income of negative 238 million dollars and a net income of 235 million dollars in the freaking red and taking a look at their eps i don't really talk about it much on this channel but i actually wanted to point out something here when it comes to the stock basically if you give them a dollar and 60 cents they're going to lose 78 cents for you so clearly this company is losing money on the accrual base of accounting now let's get into the cash flow statement to see how much cash they're actually burning so taking a look at the cash flow statement they had their uh, negative net income they added back some depreciation and amortization and then stock based compensation which i'm not surprised by at all other operating activities and then taking a look at the changes in net working capital basically their accounts receivable is negative so pretty much they had uh, more money that's owed to them so that is a negative because once again they're not getting the money that's actually owed to them so it's still like an accounts receivable and then the changes in accounts payable so that's negative because they're paying their bills on time so honestly that's not really a bad thing at the end of the day but when it comes to the accounts receivable that's not really the best thing because you want to recognize revenue and receive cash as soon as possible and delay your expenses as long as possible and then they have the changes in the accounts payable on a revenue and an operating cash flow of negative 127 million dollars so keep that in mind when we get into the uh, balance sheet and then looking at the investment cash flow not really much to look at they had some capex they had a sale of property plant and equipment of thirty thousand dollars i mean right there's million hundred thousand and then 10,000, right? So $30,000, I don't know what they're freaking selling. You can really guess anything. I'm not really sure. Anyway, uh, investing cash flow of negative $24 million and taking a look at their uh, financing cash flow, they paid back some debt and then they issued some common stock and their overall financing cash flow is positive. So overall, that's not really a good thing to see because of the fact that their operations is negative, their investing is negative, which is not really the worst thing in the world because they're investing in the business. But when it comes to all the money that's coming into the business, it's from the financing section because they can't make money from the core operations of the business. So once again, they either issue stock or they take on debt. And as you can see here, $364 million of debt was taken on in 2021 so most likely that was a very low interest rate and honestly that really pisses me off because back then we were in a very artificially low interest rate environment and we still are right now but basically because interest rates were kept artificially low this company was allowed to get capital when they shouldn't be allowed to because of the fact that they were able to afford it because of the low interest so this right here is a clear example of a misallocation of capital because once again this company is not profitable if we go back to 2020 and look at their freaking margins i mean look at this negative 262 negative 60 percent why would you loan this company money i mean they literally <laughs> lose money hand over fist and i don't really know how they're going to pay you 
back like this is ridiculous and as you can see every year they're diluting shareholders because the fact that they don't make money for their core operations of the business so they had to get the money from somewhere to finance their operations and that's going to be diluting you as a shareholder so now taking a look at the balance sheet from 2020 up until today so clearly there was a massive influx of cash in 2021 because they took on debt and my god they just took that money and they're burning it like there's no tomorrow they have less than half the money left they have cash on hand right now of 155 million dollars and they have total current assets of 280 million dollars taking a look at the uh, total assets and pp &E, goodwill and other intangibles and overall assets of 1.1 billion dollars but now when you're looking at this though the majority of it is in goodwill and other intangibles which is not good at all when you're trying to calculate the liquidation value of a company pretty much you just discount the f out of goodwill other intangibles depending on what that is so at the end of the day this is really bad and now taking a look at the current liabilities they actually have a current ratio of less than one because look 464 million dollars in current liabilities and they only have 280 million dollars in uh, current assets like this is actually really bad so i would not be surprised if this company went bankrupt in the next 12 to 18 months because this is freaking ridiculous and taking a look at the total liabilities is 854 million dollars but when you go to uh, shareholders equity it is positive and i'm using air quotes even though you can't see me because once again a lot of the assets are goodwill which you pretty much would discount so in my opinion they have negative stockholders equity and taking a look at their current debt of 401 million dollars that's basically as much as their freaking market cap isn't their market cap like 530 million dollars that's almost like 80 percent right there of their total debt is like the exact same value as like their market cap so this is just absolutely terrible and a disaster i would honestly not be surprised if the company went bankrupt in the next 18 months now taking a look at the company's ratios here there's not really much to look at to be honest because since everything is negative there's going to be a negative pe a very low price to sales ratio but that's completely irrelevant in my opinion price of free cash flow and price to operating cash flow is all negative and taking a look at the debt to equity is over one which means the company is very leveraged and then the current quick ratio is obviously under one and then looking at their uh, roa roe and roic it's all negative honestly like there's not really much to look at here i'm not going to do any projections for this company because why would i project more negative numbers so taking a look at fubo tv here i'm not sure why you guys would invest in this at all i mean this is absolutely freaking risky like you're straight gambling if you're buying the stock once again this price target of two dollars and 88 cents is just so stupid i don't know i'm sure what this analyst is smoking but as you can see here there was a little pump in the stock in uh, august from uh, what a dollar 16 cents all the way up to about two bucks and now it's coming back down so they almost became a penny stock and once again it did up to two dollars so i'm going to check their ak to see if there's any recent announcement that made the stock go up a lot okay so taking a look here at their ak this honestly pisses me off fubo wins preliminary injunction against the walt disney company fox corp and warner bro discovery's joint venture so just reading this it looks like these three companies were going to combine together to do some kind of like sports streaming thing and basically fubo tv cried to the judges like a freaking bunch of brain dead babies and said hey it's gonna be like a possible monopoly here and oh my god i hate this freaking monopoly argument i've talked about it so many times on this freaking channel and now it looks like the judge is blocking this joint venture between these three companies and honestly if they want to do it in the private sector voluntarily i really don't give a damn this is literally not going to be the end of the world and fubo tv just cries to the judge like a bunch of freaking babies even though they're freaking losing money hand over fist and they're literally destroying shareholder value but once again because of how brain dead this country is when it comes to like the courts and everything like this is absolutely freaking ridiculous now and look at what the ceo said today's ruling is a victory not only for fubo but for consumers this will help ensure that consumers have access to a more competitive marketplace with multiple sports streaming options which is absolutely freaking ridiculous i mean if they're going to join together and just do whatever like streaming thing they're going to do it's not like they're going to charge 200 bucks a month most likely it'd be like 20 bucks a month 25 bucks a month i'm not sure exactly what uh, disney was going to do with these other companies but once again fubo is freaking unprofitable and they are a net drag on the economy as they're losing money hand over fist and freaking destroying capital once again we saw on their balance sheet how they're just losing money hand over fist they are a net drag on the economy because we're once again allocating capital to this company that's freaking losing money they are a net negative on the economy there's nothing that they're actually doing that's helping us all together all of this here is just a bunch of bs and once again it pisses me off how this freaking unprofitable share diluting trash company is going to freaking whine to a judge about some stupid decision that like disney is going to do with other companies once again if they want to voluntarily join together do some freaking streaming thing it's freaking whatever once again they're not going to freaking gouge anybody like if i was a judge i would have thrown out this case like go make some money first and then come talk once again i don't think this company is going to last 18 months looking at their freaking burn rate this movement by the judge is absolutely ridiculous because once again just taking a look at the company's performance over the last five years look at how fubo has absolutely destroyed shareholder value and just taking money and just throwing it in the furnace they're once again a net negative on the economy and this decision by the judge is absolutely ridiculous Alrighty, guys that's basically gonna be the end of today's video hope you guys enjoyed if you did leave a like down below subscribe for more videos and i'll see you guys in the next video